want to you need to take one of these and put, hide it under a bush. I'll take one too. In case someone is coming along and we hate to waste the water, you know. In other words, I was born here, I was lucky to be born here in the States where we had great freedom and great opportunities. But the guys down south of here don't have the same opportunities just because of this, their system's different. So if I was one of them, I'd be coming north too. I would do the same thing. Uh, I'm a Democrat and my husband is a Republican. And uh, I think this has created a little bit of friction between us because I don't like uh, Trump. I don't like the way he's uh, demonizing people, especially poor people. She didn't tell me she was a Democrat when I married her. Uh, once again, I was tricked. The gringo was tricked, okay? But you know, so when I married her, we weren't talking about politics. All we did was come out here and put out water. And, and Laura, I think what happened to Laura was, was Trump said some really inflammatory things back in like, oh, in 16, when he first was running about the Mexicans being rapists and stuff. So there, and there's a small subset of criminals that are really horrible, as you know. With this administration, it's even worse, you know, knowing that so many people are trying to come across to look for a better life. And especially uh, when the person in the White House is so anti-migrant, you know, and uh, I guess it's easy for a lot of people in this country to forget that this is the land of migrants. Everybody came from somewhere else. We have to agree to disagree. That's what I told my husband. Not because I think different than he does makes me wrong, or because he doesn't think the way I think it makes him wrong, no.